हाय एवरीवन जय हिंद जय भारत जय माता दी आर यू अ क्लास ट्वेल्थ स्टूडेंट हु इज आई मी सिटी एस्पिरेंट एंड वांट्स टू जॉइन मर्चेंट नेवी एंड यू लुकिंग फॉर ऑप्शन देन टी एस रहमान कैन बी वन ऑफ दी ऑप्शन वन ऑफ द ओल्डेस्ट कॉलेज मेड बिल्ट इन 1910 इट इज बीन मोर देन 113 इयर्स लेट जस्ट मूव हेड कोर्स आफ्टर ऑफर ऑफर्ड आफ्टर क्लास ट्वेल्थ इज डिप्लोमा इन नॉटिकल साइंस अगेन डिप्लोमा इन नॉटिकल साइंस रिक्वायर स्पॉन्सरशिप इट इज नॉट जस्ट अबाउट आई एम right so fleet management is one of the companies that in the year 2023 i know as of now which is coming to ts rahman for the sponsored candidates but last year we came to know that even scorpi was coming and a few other shipping companies as well so this will keep changing it is dynamic and we'll keep you informed in the long run but again so now what happens is you are a class 12 student you apply at ts rahman ts rahman and you also apply for imct you clear imct ts rahman shortlist your See, we send it to fleet management. Fleet management calls you to T S Raman College. There, they take your interview and online test, and finally, you are selected. Got it? And then you join T S Raman and you do your P C course. Let's move ahead. So, eligibility criteria for D S again in case of T S Raman, it is not just that uh, companies coming over there and then only T S Raman will take you. Like fleet is coming, then only only fleet sponsored candidates will come. Suppose you have a sponsorship from a shipping company X Y Z due to some reference or something as well. and you have a mct rank certificate then also you can go to tsm and you can show them i have a sponsorship letter i have a rank certificate can i join so again eligibility criteria for dns particular age minimum age is 17 years maximum for male general is 25 obc 28 scst 30 for female it is general 27 obc 30 scst 32 the reference date for calculation of the age will be from the date of commencement of the academic session once again i repeat it is not a random date say 1st august 2023 your academic session at ts aman is starting that day your age should not be less than 17 years or your age should not be more than 25 years if you are a male of general category educational qualification candidate must have passed 10 plus 2 with pca with minimum 60% aggregate this is minimum but a company like fleet says bhai i want only candidate with pca percentage more than 70 then in that case what can ts raman say they say okay bhai if you are more than 70 then only you can apply else jai mata di but if it is with dns and if say another shipping company comes say scorpio comes and say okay anyone with more than pcm 60% we will take them for interviews they say okay you also come you also come so it is not about college in dns it is more about the shipping company candidates who have passed bsc with physics as main subject in one of the semesters with 60% aggregate marks if you have got jai mata di go ahead or candidates who have passed btech in any stream with 60% aggregate marks they can join dns as well though not recommended 4 years You have invested in a B.Tech engineering degree, and then you want to switch over. What's the reason, guys? Think over it. Again, in English, you should not have less than fifty marks, fifty percent marks in either in tenth or in twelfth or in your degree examination. For SCST categories, there is a five percent relaxation in PCM aggregate marks. However, it will not apply to English marks. For English, minimum is fifty percent. No relaxation for SCST candidates. Total number of seats varies from forty to one sixty, and even for batches, sometimes there is one batch in a year, sometimes there is two. Also, physical and medical standards. Since it is for DNS, six by six in both eyes, or one one eye six by six. Worst eye six by nine. That is the maximum that they can go for. No color blindness. Last date for application form is twentieth April twenty twenty three. Improvement board students are allowed if the company coming there takes. NIA students are not allowed. Open board students are not allowed. So again, in DNS, it is not about what T uh, S uh, Raman wants. It is what the shipping company coming over there wants. So if some X Y Z company comes says I want open board students no worries T S M is okay you can come so that is why these eligibility criteria might change it is slightly dynamic all the time last but not the least fees for D N S is four lakh thirty thousand rupees you will get easy education loan how to apply go to T S Rahman dot O R G click on pre C course booking obligatory admission select one year pre C decaded course go ahead join in the end is Uh, T S Raman a good college for D N S. Are the companies coming there genuine? What is the waiting period of companies coming over there? If these are the questions that are hounding you or you want the answers, then the answer is college portal at merchantnavydecoded dot com. So there has been time where students keep asking me, sir, should I join this college? How much is the placement criteria? How much is the placement criteria? How much is the waiting period? And these things keep changing. So I thought what to do, and that is where the idea. Of starting something like Google reviews on our own website, Merchant Navy Decoded, 
came into my mind and that is how on my website called mochadevidicoder.com I started a thing called college portal so like when you have to book a uh, when you have to book a hotel you go for google reviews now if you want to go for uh, college you can see what are the reviews how is the standard so let us see how you have you can do so you click on the college portal now suppose you are a gme aspirant so you will click over here you are a e2 aspirant you will click over here you are a imc to dns aspirant you will click over here you are a gp rating aspirant it will come over here you are an aspirant for btech marine engineering then also there will be an option option over here and for any other course that comes with the time it will be there so right now say you come to this course and you are interested in say IMUCT and DNS and you want to know about Anglo right so what you do is you click over on IMUCT and DNS Anglo and then suddenly you will see the highly recommended colleges from Merchant Navy decoded over here for DNS so for highly recommended you will see Anglo station maybe over here or it will be in the other college section it depends whether AMA is good or not but we will recommend AMA for sure as of now then you will click over here on AMA. So when you will click, you will see overview section. Then you can click, you can see all about overview. Then you can see the eligibility criteria. Then the fee structure, registration process, syllabus kaisa hai. How is the placement record over here? Copy it in AMA. Everything you will come to know. Copy it. Then this is the say you, you click on the placement scenario. You get to see the placement scenario of AMA over here. But the most important thing is how students perceive this college those who have studied over here so now you can come over and see the rating how good is anglo in case of placement how good is am am in case of waiting period how good is training and well-being of am over here when you watch these ratings over here that is where you learn that is where you understand what are the right questions you need to ask and should you get into emma or you should avoid getting into emma so this is one thing apart from that it is a request if you know someone who has passed out from MMA for a particular course, tell them by whatever your review is, just go and share on this college portal. And yes, don't be scared. If you have something bad to share about any college, any course, just do that and post that review anonymously over here. Just posting it as no. Don't show my name. Post reviews anonymously, yes. And your name will not come over. And that is how this college portal is not going to just help you but every other person who is joining Merchant Navy. Thank you very much. Jai Hind, Jai Bharat, Jai Mata.